So, I'll show you how to set up an Xbox controller with the Xpatter program. First, you start xpatter.exe. You click New to create the layout. Uh, you click Stick and Enable. And uh, you uh, push up, the, up down. And this is the left stick. And if you want the right stick, you do the same thing for the right stick. Then you go to the D-pad if you want to use that one. Up, down, left, right. And it's there. You go to the buttons and you just press the buttons A, B, X, Y, right, left and if you want to use the triggers you can enable those and you just hold trigger left and trigger right then you click OK you save the layout and uh, you can set up a moving template with the spanner you use the arrow keys then you click the buttons you want to use uh, for example this the A, A key, B key, X, Y, uh, and I'll just set those to some keyboard keys that I think is good. And you can save the profile, and then you uh, go into the game. You go to oh, let's see, yeah. Uh, you go to keyboard and you set the directional up down left right you set the uh, attack keys like that and uh, these are debug keys you don't have to um, set those and uh, that's how you get the um, xbox controller to work Yeah, so, doesn't seem to be a problem there. If you need help with the telephone client, there's another video covering that. So, good luck!